we are setting up the 8 color KCM kit on the Soval SV08. First, remove the stock print head of the SV08, then unscrew the extruder motor screw on the left side and the cable holder screws. Next, remove the screw next to the calibration sensor on the left, followed by the three screws on the right, and take out the stock print head. Now, attach the chroma head adapter, which is available on the wiki, using three screws. Insert two square nuts into the empty slots on the left side and one square nut on the right side. Align the chroma head with the adapter and secure it using three screws through the holes where the square nuts were placed. Plug in the fan connector and close the print head. The chroma head installation is now complete. Next, connect the KCM to the system. Connect the chroma head socket and Type-C cable to the KCM, but do not plug in the power yet. Since an ECM will be used, connect a USB hub. Alternatively, the USB ports on the Soval printer can be used directly. Now, connect the ECM's Type-C cable to the system. Then, plug the other end of the cable into the USB hub. Next, place the extruders, which were previously mounted onto the four slot extruder holders, onto the printer. These holders can be downloaded and printed from the wiki. Now, connect the extruder motor cables to all eight CX-1 extruders in order, starting from the right side. Plug the first four extruders into the KCM, beginning from the bottom socket and moving upwards. This order is important, so ensure they are plugged in correctly. For the remaining four extruders, start from the right side again and connect them to the ECM, from bottom to top. The order must be correct to avoid any issues. With the KCM and ECM installed, position them on the desk and proceed with TFE tube installation. Each TFE tube is 1.5 meters long. Move the chroma head to the farthest point of the printer, connect one end of the TFE tube to a CX-1 extruder, and cut the other end according to the required distance. Repeat this process for all eight TFE tubes to complete the installation. It is important not to leave the TFE tubes too long, as this can affect print quality. To secure the TFE tubes to the 8-in-1 unit, use the blue locking clips. Finally, plug in the power adapter, use the included adapter splitter, and connect power first to the KCM, then to the ECM. Turn on the printer and start the system. On the printer's screen, go to Advanced Settings Show IP to view the IP address assigned to the printer on the homepage. Open your browser and enter your printer's IP address to access the mainsail interface. When the page loads, you'll see a red error message don't worry, this is completely normal. Click on the machine tab on the left side. Next, upload the configuration files specifically prepared for the SV08, which you should have downloaded from GitHub or the official wiki. Now, we need to update the USB pads in the config files to match the actual connections for KCM and ECM. To do this, we'll use to connect to the Soval printer from a computer. Open terminal, type Soval at 192. 168 1 155 and hit enter make sure to replace this ip address with your printer's actual ip when prompted enter the default password which is soval to find the correct usb path for the printer start by unplugging the usb cables for kcm and ecm from the usb hub then in the terminal enter ls dev serial by path and press enter Copy the displayed USB path and paste it into printer, config, replacing the path after serial. Save the file and restart the system. Now, plug in only the KCM's USB cable. Disconnect the chroma head cable from the KCM. Go back to the terminal and run LSDev serial by path again. The new USB path that appears is the one for KCM. Open KCM, config, replace the existing serial path with this new one, save the file, and restart. Next, reconnect the chroma head cable to the KCM and run LSDev serial by path once more. Copy the new USB path that appears and paste it into chroma head, config, replacing the serial path. Now, plug the ECM's USB cable back into the hub. Run LSDev serial by path in the terminal again and copy the last USB path that appears. Open ECM, CFG, update the serial path, save the file, and restart the system. After restarting, you'll see a blue notification on the screen. This means that Clipper is trying to connect to the printer. Wait a moment, and once the dashboard loads, the connection will be established. Now that everything is set up, it's time to slice a model and start printing. 
open Orca Slicer and select Coprint Chroma Set from the printer list. Next, import the test model into the workspace. Click on the painting tool, select the bucket fill method, and disable edge detection. This will allow you to easily paint different parts of the model with a single click. Now, assign colors to the model so that each part corresponds to one of the eight extruders. To ensure clean color transitions, set the flushing volumes ratio to 1.3. This adjustment will help maintain sharp and vibrant colors. Once that's done, slice the model with a 0.2 mm layer height. Finally, upload the sliced file to mainsail and start the print. The model, measuring 190x190x17, x will be printed in 8 colors and will take 20 hours and 6 minutes to complete. Now, let's take a closer look at the printed model. This design includes moving parts, and we can see that the tolerances are well adjusted and the surface quality looks great. In this video, we set up the KCM set on the Soval SV08 to achieve 8 color printing. Thanks for watching. You can find more details in the description below.